Just days before the start of the Beijing Olympics, President Bush says he has some deep concerns about the state of human rights in China. Early show national correspondent Jeff Glor is live in Beijing with more. Jeff, good morning. Russ, good morning to you. It was a day of deep pride for many millions here in Beijing, but it was also a day for some to protest. As the longest and most controversial torch relay in Olympic history arrived here today, the hot topic of Tibet flared up again. Protesters this morning climbed 50 feet up two electrical poles outside Beijing's National Stadium. In San Francisco in April, there was that elaborate stunt on the Golden Gate Bridge, a free Tibet banner unfurled on the arches. And in France, the relay was put on ice at least three different times while traveling through Paris. Both those scenes were deeply distressing to the Chinese, who did everything they could to make sure there were no major demonstrations today. This leg of the journey is being surrounded by a security detail second to none. The Olympic torch relay will be in Beijing for three days. Other than the actual moment the flame is lit during opening ceremonies, this is the most eagerly anticipated part of that trip. That's because this is Tiananmen, a hugely important cultural symbol for the Chinese. Many back home, of course, associated mostly with the bloody crackdown on pro-democracy protesters in 1989. But China today is a different place than it was then, and the government here hopes the culmination of this relay shows the world that different means better. President Bush will be here in Beijing on Friday. As you mentioned, tomorrow in Thailand, he will express serious concerns about continuing human rights issues here in China. Russ? Jeff Glor in Beijing. Thank you very much.